Okay, y'all, check it out. This is Cormon Fowler again with another little seed. Just throwing out there, letting y'all know about this Saturday, 2.30, March the 5th, Spontaneous Creativity is going down. We're going to be dealing with some things pertaining to learning songs and transcribing. Okay, so learning songs and transcribing. Okay, absolutely one of the most important things that you can do as a musician because um, everything that we have, even my words and the way I carry myself and everything, I got it from somewhere. Something stuck out to me that I liked. Somebody stuck out to me who I gravitated to. I was able to pattern some things and learn some things from them and implement it into my own way of speaking, my own way of dressing, my own way of doing whatever. You know what I'm saying? So the same principles apply to music, okay? So music, you have to get your stuff from somewhere and then you have to, uh, you know, implement that. You have to play those songs. For, for instance, play the songs or you have to play the stuff that you learn transcribing, speaking of which. So for instance, when, when I talk about learning songs, okay, you got all type of songs, you know what I'm saying? You got jazz, you got gospel, you got pop stuff, you got, um, what else we got? You know, all kind of stuff, all kind of styles, genres, and stuff like that. So the information is in the music. If you like certain things, you need to learn it. You need to wrap your mind around uh, the process that they're going through and get it under your fingers or whatever, whatever your instrument is. If you hear something that you, that, that you gravitate to, Learn it, learn it. You know what I'm saying? If you play a gig or go to a jam session, somebody call a tune that you don't know and you like it, go home and learn it. You know, a lot of times I travel and go to certain jam sessions and be around certain places. Different people in different areas call different songs. So when I go home, I make sure I learn those songs. And the more gigs you play, the more uh, gigs that people call you for, it's going to have to require you to learn more songs. So don't be lazy. You know what I'm saying? Learn some music. Learn Brazilian stuff. Learn jazz. Learn gospel. You know, learn some good old soul stuff. You know, expand your vocabulary, even transcribing. If you hear licks or quotes or phrases and stuff like that, you hear other cats play. Learn those things. Learn the rhythm of what they're doing. Learn the harmony that it goes over. Learn the actual lick, the melodic phrase that they're playing, you know what I'm saying? Even if you're a drummer, you can learn these things, learn how to play these things. If you're a bass player, you can learn how to play them. If you're a horn player, of course you gotta learn how to play this stuff. If you're a piano player, you gotta learn it. Even certain rhythms that you, know, you hear a drummer play, dissect them if you're not a drummer. Dissect them and figure out, man, why do I like that so much? You can even write a song based on a groove that you like that you hear a drummer play. So learn what you like. Transcribe, learn songs. That's where it's at. The more you pull from these sources that sound good and put it into your own thing, of course, when you play, it'll all come out and be applied through your playing, no matter what your instrument is.